Well guys, it's now about 7.30 in the evening and I went to that other thing but it was pretty much wrapped up by then so nothing to record and my battery died but I'm walking now along Brevibus and I thought we'd check out if there's anything happening in the evening here at Rigo or maybe later at night so we're gonna head back into the old town and uh, yeah see what's going on there I'll tell you what it was so hot earlier it wore me out a lot of walking but now it's really pleasant it's got a cool breeze I could say that this is really ideal weather and right there we're arriving to the old town and uh, hopefully they'll have some more things going on because it wasn't a bad morning honestly speaking let's check it out well I'm back by the Freedom Monument and I gotta say there's quite a lot of people out and about. And apart from being Riga's birthday, I think this pleasant weather has a lot to do with it because for the last three, four days, it's been unbearable. So hot. So she walked past the Freedom Monument and uh, she kind of put her hands together, you know, as if she was uh, praying or showing her gratitude. I've never seen anyone done, do that before. And, uh, she said something about Debesis, which means sky. So I thought, why not? намазывали горкой смазывали а, чтобы чтоб скользило порошком таким да. похоже на ну, убери руки у руки убери your name was again Edgar Edgar Vadim my friend Patrick you gotta be there talk to me in English say something yeah Nastya Nastya thank you so much she just recommended that I go to the black Magic yes, right. Cafe. Yes. Magic. 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 Have you been there before? I worked there. You worked there? Yes, work. I worked so there. So when are you going to work there? Come and, uh... I actually, I'm sorry, I didn't work there uh, since uh, uh, 20th year. Ah, for Nine, uh, Yes. Uh, 2020 since COVID. Yes, huh? yes. Uh, not COVID, but, but uh, because of university. I'm studying. You're studying? Yes, I'm a student. What are you studying? IT. Like. So you're gonna be like. Uh, yes, yes, I will program. Yeah. Yes. Next, next, uh, what? Bill next, Gates. Yes, I, I hope. <laughs> I really wish to be the next Bill Gates. So. Uh, you can actually show me the five. Yes, why not? That would be great. Yes. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Bonjour, uh, Nadia. You have a lovely name. You must something with God, no? Yes. Something. Bosch, Bosch. Bless. Bless. All right, see you later, guys. Yes. So I'm getting an escort to this Black Magic Cafe. Yes. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's go. We'll have some Black Magic cocktail. Uh, we can have uh, Black Magic cocktail. We can have uh, a lot of different cocktail. Black Magic is uh, there is an interesting cocktail. Is uh, there is like Champagne and black uh, <laughs> balsam. Wow, should we try? <laughs> I hope no, because when you drink like 
one or two, you will just bla be blackout and why is it called black uh, magic? That's so? why, huh? Yes, because you will be blackout and after you will wake up in some random place and you'll be, what? How can I get there? Let's try that. I'm sorry, I drink a lot of cocktails and shots, so I cannot, I understand that. If I drink a lot of, uh, a little bit more alcohol, I will be drink blackout. If you want, you can also visit a lot of uh, different uh, clubs. Oh, really? Which ones do you recommend? Valhalla. Valhalla? Yes. I've never heard of that club. In uh, Valhalla, you can uh, like drink, dance, and you will have a lot of uh, like mental pleasure. Oh. I think you like this. Mental pleasure is always good. Yes. Am I dressed okay to go to Valhalla? Yes. I don't know how you use the dress code for Valhalla. There is no dress code. Oh, even better. Yes. My kind of place. She break the glass and they blame me oh. because of this. Yes, it was So you've been barred because yes. of one glass? Yes, but my glass was plastic and the, the guards see how I put my uh, cocktail in a plastic glass. But how? Okay. That's crazy. How yes. can they bar a girl like you from a club? <laughs> That's silly. Yes, I know. Yeah, that's and because a lot of time that I... Got wait, wait, wait. But was that glass broken just on the floor or on someone's head? No, no, no. A floor. Yeah. This is a rockabilly. This is a cool place. My thumb. Phone died? Yeah. That's I so. hope no. Because I text my friend that we need to go to club. In to to Valhalla. Valhalla, yes. What's it called again? Valhalla. Uh, Valhalla. Valhalla. Yes, and there is like oh. Valhalla. Guys, look at this. Uh, A place no. called. Times in the but you can go there. Black magic. That looks very mystical. Yes, and it is. Uh, you can go there and you will have like a normal bar. But if you ask the uh, waitress, uh, I think it's... Like, yeah, the waitress. Yes. You want to the bar bartender. So, like a secret, uh, secret uh, room, they will show you. you uh, but you need to guess uh, which book or thing uh, can open this door. So it's like there, a game, um, yeah? Yes. They will help you, but uh, you can go there and there you can meet the ghost of uh, Riga Black Magic. The ghost of Riga Black Magic? Yeah, there is a ghost living here. That is so cool. Yes, I know. See Hope you, you see you there. Thanks a lot. See you later. Hey. Boy, she had a couple of drinks, but very nice young lady. Unfortunately, didn't get a chance to get a blackout cocktail. Um, that would have been interesting. But you can see this is really packed. There's loads of good vibe tonight. So this place, I can't even pronounce it, Aspold. Years ago, that used to be called Empire, and uh, it's a nice place. There's like uh, pretty girls dancing on the table, really fun. It stops getting fun, and I've seen this. Fortunately, it's never happened to me, but I'm well aware of it because it's not just here. It's throughout the area, throughout this part of the world, that uh, oh, look, this, this young girl playing the violin. How magnificent is that? She can't be more than 12, 13 years old. That's brilliant. At any rate, let me get back to what I was saying. Um, so you're right, if you go in there alone, have some drinks or with your mates. But if you get asked to go in there by a girl randomly on the street or, you know, conned into getting in there, then it can get nasty. The price is can go ridiculously high and uh, and yeah I would avoid that situation don't let the girls bring you in there uh, if you want to go in have a drink I've been there a few times it's quite fun it's quite nice but 
don't get conned into uh, going there with girls to buy you drinks. I mean, you can take a girl there, but I think a lot of these girls are actually on the payroll, and uh, that's what they do, so, yeah, not nice. But anyways, we're almost back to where we started before we went on this black magic uh, expedition. Um, but I wanted to show you a bit further down the alley, seeming that this is not only Riga's birthday, but my tour of Riga to you, or at least the center and the, and the old town. So let's keep going. You want to play? No, I can't. I have to finish the video, but I really... I really liked the game, it was good. It, it what, will you, be fast. You speak English or what? It will be fast, huh? Yeah. All right, I'll play a game with you. I've just been challenged to another game of novice. Two seconds later. So he just kicked my ass again in that novice game. But continuing down this alley, you'll see that there are loads of little bars scattered around. And it's really fascinating. As a matter of fact, once upon a time, I believe these were military barracks. And you can see, I think it looks like a bit of a fortification wall there that still remains. There's some cannons there. Party keeps going down there. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to continue till late, late. So, but look down here, guys. These little alleyways are just fascinating. Look at this. Just look how beautiful this is. There are some really unique buildings here and these cobblestone roads I mean these are hundreds and hundreds of years old and it's just amazing right in the middle of the old town what I'm gonna do is cut through this alley here which I absolutely love and then come back round the other way on the parallel boy thirsty I think it's time for a drink it's getting a bit dark First time I'm filming in the dark with this camera. The last time I did a video, I think it was uh, Nightlife in Riga, I actually used my phone. But today I decided I would actually try my usual camera, just because I'm more familiar with it, I'm more used to it. And uh, oh, some music coming from somewhere. Hi guys. Hi. Where's this cool music coming from? And you can see it. Just... So this alleyway here will take us back to where we we were on. What are you, a gin bar? Basically, yes. We have some gins and uh, Magello cocktails. I really need a gin tonic. Gin tonic? No, what gin do you use? Martin Miller's gin. How bad can it be, right? Can I record you making it? Let's show how you make a nice gin tonic. Let's see how good the measures are in this place too. I think this guy's got a very heavy hand. Is it allowed to walk around and drink it today at this holiday or not? Such a, such a glass, it's okay. Okay. If you walk around with a gin bottle, then you will have a problem, so... But yeah. Oh? So that's like similar to a Tanqueray 10 if you're using a... Uh, I usually like a, a gin tonic with a grapefruit in it, so we're looking good here. Oh, guys, what's your name? Uvis. Uvis. That guy just made my evening. That, I'll be back for more later. That is the best gin tonic I've had, I think, in Latvia. With the, oh, that is great. Well, say hi to my YouTube guys. Hi. This is the best gin tonic barman in all of Riga. Cheers, buddy. See you later. Man. See you later. Uh. Guys, the city tonight has an amazing vibe. Well guys, I think I'll take you back to the more central part of the old town. And I've got my gin tonic now, so I'm doing good. Honestly, the vibe in Riga tonight is absolutely phenomenal. And now we're gonna go 
to one of the main squares called Dom Square, which is just down there. It's gotten a bit dark, but I'm hoping you can see me. And look how magnificent Riga looks at night. It's just fantastic. Look at that. The buildings all lit up. Bah. We only have one gin tonic. I'm already uh, stumbling. The cafe down there looks super interesting. Hello. Is that a good cafe? Uh, it has good review. Really? Yeah. Is that where you guys are going? We will be there breakfast. It looks, you're going to be there for breakfast yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Where are you from? China. Really? Yes. On holiday here? I'm going to be going, but not directly from China. We from? live in Switzerland now. That's my friend. Oh, you live in Switzerland? Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube? I do indeed. Yes. That's a cool name, isn't it? Thank you. Ling Li. Yes. I well really done. like that. Thank you. I'm Justin, by the way. Justin, nice to meet you. So you're spending a few days in Riga? Ah, uh, just a weekend. You like yes. it? Yes, yeah, I love what it. What a cool weekend. We just the birthday, came out huh? of the opera. Uh, what did you watch? The, the fountain of the Turkish team, the uh, Turkish uh, was it good? influenced um, ballet. Very good. Very oh, good. it was a ballet? Yeah. I was there, I think, a month ago. I went to see uh, Don Juan, Don Giovanni by Mozart. Oh, that was wow. really good for the opera. But uh, yeah, an unusual. So you got you were gonna check that out? Yes, yes. Let's yes. go and have a look. Yeah. Let's go and take a look. Okay, my friend, my friend is not feeling it. She's not <laughs> That's feeling okay. it. That's okay. You enjoy, huh? You too. Bye everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> She's not feeling it. It's always a friend in it. birthday but I gotta say the vibe is still on the city is happening and just look at these magnificent buildings I don't think at night it's not gonna do it justice this camera but I think I need to do Old Town of Riga by day for you guys we've walked through it a few times but I actually take you on a tour and this is a place called Kita Riga which is a very known, very established restaurant bar here in Riga and a really fun place to, to sit and have some drinks and eat and it's right on the Dom Square which is this square right here. We're at a junction here, and every direction is good. So let's just take the first turning off here. There's a couple of cool bars over here. This is a Belgian beer uh, house, I guess. They specialize in Belgian beers. And as you can see, that's quite popular here. And then just next door is a place I frequented a few times called Cuba Cafe, also very popular, actually every popular, every place is popular in the summer here. Now this guys, Lido, is a uh, chain of restaurants here in Riga that serves typical Latvian food and it's very popular. And this one's recently opened, this used to be a uh, Tokyo City once upon a time which was a sushi restaurant. Lido's also good. Highly recommend trying it if you want to try some Latvian food, which by the way, I need to make a review of one day. So maybe we'll come to Lido and check it out. 
But we're literally right flat in the middle of things right now, and you can see how the vibe is just happening. First time in Riga? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's celebrate. it is an old city. It's celebrating 821 years today. Really? Yeah, oh, wow. it's, it's Riga's birthday. That's why it's all happening. Ah. You guys didn't know that? No, we have no idea. So you travel to Riga, what, are you guys on holiday or what? Vacation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, so you travel all the way here and you're lucky enough to end up on Riga's birthday. Yeah. The vibe is, I mean, it's not, It's always got a good vibe, yeah. but tonight it's really exceptional. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are the places to go? Like, is this a spot What, right what are you looking, well, no, no, not real. what are you looking for? The, the nightlife. The nightlife, okay. The best place, you're gonna go to a place called Rock Cafe. Not Hard Rock Cafe, Rock Cafe. How you doing? He's with us. Oh, okay. And uh, that's kind of like a, a little place. There's a, it's a junction where there you have all the nightlife. Oh, Try Sinners. Okay. It's literally a couple of minutes walk from here. Okay. Sinners. That's a nice club happening. So. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate it. So where are you guys from? I'm from Kentucky. Oh, yeah. America. The US, yeah, we're all American. Yeah, yeah. We're all from different parts of America. Military or what? Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's how it will end up. <laughs> yeah. uh, very nice. I appreciate it, though. All right, nice guys. See you guys. later. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. I was surprised to see so many Americans here. You hear them all over the place, and it turns out that it's the military is here, and they must have a day off or something because they're all out and about. And look, there's a live band over here. So this is the place I showed you earlier on. It's called where well, it used to be called Egle. It's now called No Problem. And look what a cool band they've got going on here. Now how cool are these guys, huh? Nice one, fellas. These guys really sound good. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. You and I. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky, just the two of us. You and I. What a great song. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Go on, you dance, you dance. That's not hard. Huh? What's the hard shit? Just the two of us. 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 This guy's in awe of this young lady. Just the two of us. You and I. Fantastic. Excellent job. Love this. Thank you. Really wonderful. Thank you. What a voice, guys. Huh? Your name is? <laughs> Veronica. Veronica Usas. <laughs> Veronica Usas. On her Instagram, you can follow her at Veronica Usas. Yes, Veronica Usas. U.S.A.S. 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 Veronica U.S.A.S. Veronica with a K, probably. Yes. Veronica with a K, U.S.A.S. What a voice. Give me five. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> really good. Cool like to see these street musicians earning a living doing what they love to do and she was good sound system was a bit but she was good guys I did a video my actual very first video was me walking around Riga because a mate of mine rather intoxicated drunk said to me that Latvia had the most beautiful women the tallest women and there were seven women for every guy. Obviously, that was an exaggeration. And I went out on a mission to find out if that was true. And I walked around the streets and I asked lots of ladies and they all agreed that yes, that is a fact. Um, regardless, it's actually not. But when I walked around in the winter counting all the different men and women, the ratio was about two to one. But one lady called Biber said to me, come in the summer and you'll notice that for sure. And I have to admit that walking around here on a Saturday night in August, there are loads of women. Maybe that statistic is true. Maybe I should do an updated video. Seven women to one man 
summer edition. Let me know what you think. Cinema bar. I think that would make a good video. So this place over here, I think it's called Two More Beers. And it goes around the back. And it's a really cool place. Some nice food. And a huge selection of beers actually. Which you just go through this little archway here. You'll see how busy it is. Look how cool this is. And look at the surroundings. It's just phenomenal. Over there you have a lit up cathedral. And look at the vibe. And what's down here? Never been down here. Secret event it's called. Let's see what secret event is. Oh my. Look at this. This is different. Damn, look at this. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, you work here? No, no, I'm waiting on uh, some, some of the people inside. Oh, where are you from? Um, I'm from the US. I can tell by the accent. Accent. Yeah, where in the where US? Where are you from? England. England. Uh, what part of the US are you from? Uh, Virginia. Virginia? Yeah. Cool. So what are you doing here in Riga of all places? Uh, I'm just here visiting. Visiting? Yeah. Yeah. Military. Yeah. Military. Yeah. Like secret military. So you were like so evasive thinking maybe it's secret. Yeah. It is? Will my YouTube followers be interested? Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Your name is? Uh, originally I'm from Hawaii. Oh really? Yeah. Now that's cool. That is more yeah. exotic. I'm someone. Why? Right away. People right will be like, really? Yeah, you, yeah you know how, like, the fucking military is, like, all of the country. So, I so, joined the military since, like, 2016. You've been in the military since 2016? Yeah. When do you actually graduate from the military? 2016. No, okay. 16. That's oh, when like, you began. I'm when still, are you finishing? I'm, I just re enlisted, so. How many years? Uh, six years. So we're gonna keep re-enlisting if we wanted to like, really? until like we get retired. So. And and uh, like, are you stationed in Latvia? Um, no, 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 no. So you just here for so, the weekend for a party? No, we're on a ship. You're on a ship? Yeah. Is there like a ship out there? Yeah. Am I going filming? I mean, you can. There's like tour and everything, but they kind of like strict about like filming. Yeah, filming oh. and everything. So. What was your name again? T. T. Like the letter, tea. or like the drink? Tea, uh, the letter, tea. Nice to meet you, tea. Nice to meet you, I'm too. Justin. Justin. You have a beautiful face. I would never well, have said you. you were from the US. Uh, yeah, like, if when you, you see, said Hawaii, I'm like, okay. If you see someone Hawaiian, you're gonna see like a pretty much of my so race. You, 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 you wear we the lace? Hula, we do hula, we do lace, yeah. You can do hula? Yeah. Do you play the ukulele? The ukulele is like, no? It's all right, don't worry, we're almost done. You can come up. No, we're done. No, I don't play with the My brother anyway, does. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. I say hi to my the video. Yeah, hi. <laughs> what is your name? Precious. You are, actually. Thanks, that is your name. That's your name. And you are? Elaine. Elaine. Yes. Also Precious. Aww. And then Elaine. Joseph. Can we? Hey, Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. How are you, mate? Joseph. I'm good, man. Good to see you. Hi, mate. See you later. Hi, hi, hi. Bye bye. All right. Enjoy. Yeah. Wow. So apparently there's a military ship docked here in Riga right now. And that's why the city is swamped with US military personnel. Interesting. Might go and have a look at that ship tomorrow, see if they'll let me film. Never know, probably get arrested, but why not?
What a great band, honestly speaking, these guys were phenomenal and they really had a vibe going on tonight, so, and look what a crowd they put together, absolutely amazing, so, for me that was a fantastic finale to a great day, Riga's 821st birthday and a tour of the city and the old town. Well guys, I'm going to go out partying a bit more and you know, you can catch my video from last week, see what the nightlife in Riga is like, but I really hope you enjoyed this video and remember, enjoy your journey.